Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda and Medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. So today in this video, I'm going to answer your most commonly asked question. That is what to do with the water in which we have soaked dry fruits, whether we should drink it or we should throw it. And next question is what to do with the water in which we soaked raisins, whether we should drink it or we should throw it. And the third question is whether we should soak raisin and dry fruits together, is it good? And if we do this, what to do with the water in which we have soaked both the dry fruits and raisins. So let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it. So the answer to your first question is uh, that is about almonds. This is one of the most common dry fruit. Walnut, second common. Third is cashews. Some people soak cashews. Some people soak hazelnuts. Or even there are variety of nuts. All such kind of dry fruits you need to soak overnight so that the warmth that is there in these dry fruits should go into water and these dry fruits will become well suitable for the body. Regarding this, I already have created one more video, in fact two videos in which I have explained how beneficial it is to soak dry fruits overnight. So the link is there in the description below. You can make use of that video. And if for some reasons, if, if you couldn't find the link in the description below, you go through my channel. In the search section, just write down like dry fruits video and it will open up all the dry fruit videos that I have created till now. And make use of these videos. These are very beneficial for your health and how to soak them and how it is beneficial to eat early morning and who should eat these dry fruits and who shouldn't eat these dry fruits. The thing that I have not explained in that video that is about water in which we have soaked these dry fruits. So uh, when we soak these dry fruits that means the water is going inside these dry fruits that is osmosis is happening. And at the same time, certain ingredients or certain things, certain amino acids or certain other things which are not needed for our body, which are present in these dry fruits that will go uh, outside these dry fruits and in the water. That's why the color of water usually change when you get up in the morning after soaking these dry fruits overnight, you will see the color of the water will be changed. So this water you should never ever use. That is not beneficial for your health, for your body. In addition to that, even after soaking and before eating these dry fruits, you need to remove the outer peel of the seed, you know, like almond is almost a seed. It's a dry fruit, but it's a seed. So you need to remove the outer brown peel also, same for walnut also and same for hazelnut or any other nut which has peel. You need to remove this peel because after soaking this peel is very easy to remove and it is not so good for your digestive fire or your digestion though it is very difficult to digest. That's why in Ayurveda the proper way of eating these dry fruits is soak overnight, remove peel in the morning and then and consume it. But there is another category which also comes under dry fruits but actually this is not dry fruits. We use these dry fruits in various sweets like meva that is called like uh, raisins. Raisins come under the category of meva. Munakka comes under the category of meva. Munakka especially this the typical raisin or it is pure raisin it has huge health benefits. So this munakka, if you're soaking it overnight, so in the morning, you should not throw that water in which you have soaked this munakka. Because as you know, munakka or this raisin, it is already very soft. It is not hard or dry as nuts uh, or other kind of nuts. It's already very soft. So what happens overnight when we soak it, it's essential uh, nutrients will go inside the water because both are gel like, you know, raisins are gel like, water is gel like. So easily penetration happen and the essential things which are present inside the raisin, they started going into the water. 
So, this water in which you have uh, soaked raisins, you should drink it along with raisins. Then it will be extremely beneficial to enhance your rasa dhatu that is a very important component of your immunity and it is very beneficial for your health. Which kind of raisins that is called munakka that is best and how to use it, how to soak it, how to wash these raisins before soaking. Please do not do like this, you just open the packet, take out raisins and just soaking, no. You first wash it with warm water these raisins and then soak it. Then overnight let it be soaked, then in the morning eat these raisins and drink this water, it is beneficial for health. It is not beneficial to soak raisins and dry fruits together, why? Because the water in which we are soaking dry fruits, we are going to throw it. But the water in which we are soaking raisins, we are going to use it, we are going to drink it. So, you should never soak them together. People are very commonly asking that raisins are kapha enhancing or raisins are beneficial for enhancing weight or if we eat dry fruits, uh, whether they will cause weight gain? Yes, definitely excess of dry fruits causes weight gain. But raisins also excess of raisins causes weight gain. So, whenever you choose these dry fruits or raisins, you should choose according to your body type. How is your constitution? You should not uh, eat dry fruits in excess. And the best time to have dry fruits is in the morning. When you have your fruits, after that you can have your soaked dry fruits and raisins. And after that anything cooked you can eat. This way it will be very beneficial for your health. And this is what Ayurveda has to say about raisins and dry fruits. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching me for the first time, then there's a bell icon, there's a subscription button. You can click the bell icon, you can hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also, if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription button. You can click this join button and you can support us. And if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. Also, those of you who are requesting for consultations, there is a link below in the description. You can write a direct mail to me or you please uh, write down in the comment section. I will give you mail how you can write to me your problem and then we can schedule Ayurveda consultation accordingly. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and with this note I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care. Bye.